Ooh. What have they done? Oh, the... Ooh, actually. I mean... Okay, welcome back to another full-time podcast video. We're going to today go through some... There's only been 17 out of 20 released of the new kits for 2024-25 season. This is going to be pretty fun because there is some good ones on there and there's also some pretty bad ones a lot of these i haven't actually seen yet so it'll be my first reaction we're going to rank them all out of 10 and then we'll we'll see which one is my favorite arsenal is nice to be fair their home kit is very nice i do like the way they've done the sort of red in the middle and then the i think i think the little blue bits on the shoulder give it a nice a nice look i think to be fair they should have kept the badge instead of just having the gunners no on the badge it does have the blue in i mean there's no sign of gold on it but it does have the blue in their away kit is okay i guess if you like a styly sort of vibe then i guess it's one that you'd like i'm not too keen on it we could do an overall i guess i'm not i'm not too keen on the away kit overall overall maybe a maybe a seven because I can't go out too nice at the moment because I know there may be some good ones coming up. Arsenal, I give a seven, I think. I do think it's a nice kit. And if I was an Arsenal fan, I'd definitely buy the home kit. I think it's one of the better ones they've made and they've gone with a different style from other seasons. Brighton is what you'd expect. Although, surprisingly, I do like what they've done in the blue stripes, which they've got like a little... This is the first time I've seen the Brighton kit. They've got like a white line in the middle of the blue stripes, which I think looks pretty classy. On the back, it's just plain white as well. I I like it. I like it. I'm probably not as much as as Arsenal's, but I think I think that's a nice kit. And uh, they've not well not on here at least. They've not released their away kit yet. I'll give that I'll give that a six. I don't think it's as much as Arsenal. I do think I like Arsenal's a bit more. Ooh, and Chelsea's, which I've already seen. What have they done? I mean, it it, it may grow on me, but that's a one out of ten. That is. I don't know. I don't know what audience they were trying to appeal to, really, because I could see maybe like the Arsenal away kit. Some people like classy shirts. I'm I'm more of like the the Arsenal home kit and the Brighton sort of thing and obviously I'm wearing this Netherlands kit just the sort of nice plain ones you know it's a football kit obviously that is really weird I don't know what Nike what is it Nike it is Nike that's that's probably the worst one Chelsea have ever made to be fair and I know they maybe were trying to go with something different from doing like a Spurs and just having the same thing every season but Ooh, that is not <laughs> no, no one out of ten crystal palace have gone with like a i don't know well crystally a crystally type of thing with their stripes i don't really like it Ooh, they have released their away kit definitely like their away kit more but obviously it's crystal palace colors is what you'd expect they were maybe trying to go with something different with the weird pattern I would give that, I think Brighton's is better, maybe like a four, because maybe the away kit sort of carries it a little bit. I do like the away kit. Everton is just normal Everton, to be fair. They've they've done something with the collar, they've added another little pattern in the side, and it, it's just it's just Everton, isn't it? It's exactly what you'd expect. I think, I think that's fine, and I like it more than the Crystal Palace one, to be fair. Five five out of ten for me for that also get in the comments if you agree or disagree with me with any of these fulham have gone with a collar and i like it i do like it it's sort of got that retro vibe because it's had it's got these little red i don't know what to call them red flares coming up i do i like that to be fair and it's it's quite plain it's got the adidas shoulders as most of the adidas kits do that their sponsor goes well with it it's not got too many colors it's not it's quite a plain logo for the sponsor as well and they've just got the fulham colors of white black and red which which is classy i, I think i think i like that maybe as much as the arsenal one so i'll i'll go seven out of ten for that one as well that's joint with the arsenal one ipswich I, I I like it switches to be fair. Oh, I do like their awake it. I think their awake it may carry this one. 
there i think the sponsor lets them down a little bit though and that weird red thing in the umbro logo which i'm not sure what they were trying to do with that they should maybe gone with the red on the sleeve instead but but no i don't think i like it i think it's like everton's you know it's just ipswich colors and what you'd expect and and it's not they've not gone with like this weird outrageous pattern that a lot of other clubs have done a six out of ten for ipswich i think that's fair leicester it's it's very plain but but I, I like it to be fair i think i think that's pretty nice they they haven't risked the pattern like other clubs have i'll oh, maybe give i'll give that a six because i don't like it as much as fulham and arsenal liverpool which we've already seen they announced it way like a long time ago it has grown on me i, d- I did like it actually at the start uh, i don't know is it better than like arsenal probably yes to be fair uh, i don't want to say it but it is nice isn't it it's pretty nice and they have risked the pattern and i think they've done well out of it because it's not too out there and it's like a subtle pattern that goes well with what they've done i do love the collar i love a collar on a shirt to be fair i've obviously i've got one here and they've got the yellow like under the armpit on the side of the shirt there which i like and yellow badge yellow nike logo with the white sponsor goes really well i think with the red so uh eight out of ten that's winning at the moment with only a couple left Ooh, but but hopefully someone can top it man city hmm. i mean it is just a man they they do what they did last season they just keep the blue and basically everything on the shirt the same they just switch the collar up every time and i think this is i like ipswich and leicester's more so five or four it's very plain and four out of ten for man city manchester united which i haven't seen as well well i have seen because of when when you're assigned i i like it you know i like it i like the long sleeve one as well i think the long sleeve one is good it sort of gives the retro man united vibes which is weird because they've got they're getting an increasingly more young team i I think it's good though i wouldn't say it's as good as like liverpool's the color the colors go well is like a very plain color scheme as i don't think they have any yellow in there apart from the badge maybe a six because i would still put like arsenal and fulham above them so six out of ten for man united it is quite a classy kit though now newcastle's i saw a while ago it's just newcastle isn't it they they play around with how big they have the stripes but no i think it's i think it's good it's just newcastle isn't it? they can't really change much they haven't added a pattern the sponsor goes well Adidas logo goes well with it and the Newcastle badge goes well on that sort of one white strip just, just normal Newcastle 6 out of 10 you know Nottingham Forest is it's plain but it's got like this subtle pattern which looks which looks I think good it'll probably build on me a little bit more during the season I think maybe what downgrades it a bit is just how not not weird but how out there the sponsor is which which could you know harm the 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 classiness of the kit a little bit probably eh, maybe a five because I do like Newcastle's a bit more Southampton they've gone with thinner thinner strips than like Newcastle I I think I like it more than Forest Uh, maybe a six out of ten six out of ten for Southampton Spurs They've, uh, this is the one time that I actually I don't like any Spurs shirt but this is one of the good ones they've made I don't want to say it but like it's maybe it's because I'm used to just the same bland Spurs every year that because they've changed it up I'm like oh well actually it's quite nice but it actually is quite nice so mm, uh, 6 6 out of 10 their away kit is uh, sort of nice it's it's just they've got why have they put they've put the badge in the middle but then kept the night logo on the side so it's weird because there's nothing there the the good thing about spurs's kits every every year is that the aia sponsor always goes well with the kit oh maybe seven seven then for spurs (sighs) same as arsenal west ham there's two more there's west ham and wolves so these have to come in clutch the only thing this would have been an eight this would have been an eight you know why if they kept the badge the same what have they done with the badge 
why they do that with the badge has our awake it or our awake it has come out it, it looks good i like it and i'm probably going to hopefully buy it i like the sleeves i like the collar and i like how retro y they've gone with it and how just simple it is from from the last couple of seasons oh, but the badge the badge why have they done that with the badge it would have looked so nice with the normal badge but the badge brings it down to a seven so they can't go neck on neck with liverpool the away kit's just what the west ham away kit usually is the black with a bit of claret in it they're doing some weird things with the badge though which i don't like so overall overall seven probably now wolves oh the wool actually actually i do quite like the wolf shirt it's very like plain they've done the same thing as west ham with the collar and the and the sleeves the sponsor goes well uh, they've just they've, put, they've done the same thing as spurs in their away kit and put their badge in the middle but then the spon um, i don't know the S sud i've never heard of them the make in in the same place as where it usually is which i don't think looks nice but but you know I, I, it might grow on me i do like the west ham kit more so a six out of ten which means that that liverpool shirt which i do like the liverpool shirt wins and has the best kit so far we've still got three more teams that haven't and or at least aren't on premier league website yet so congratulations for liverpool well done liverpool for winning my my rankings for for this season's new release kits and thank you for watching and uh, and get in the comments actually what you think about all the kits <laughs> get get in the comments what you think of chelsea's kit if you think it deserves more than a one out of ten then uh, tell me why because i could not understand and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching goodbye